Hello everybody. Welcome back to my educational channel Edis English Literature. I am Ardhan today. Today we are going to talk about the strategy for learning English literature seriously. Yes, when you are taking literature for some serious academic purposes or job orientation. Usually, when a literature student gets admission in MA, BA, or in other courses, he is given a pamphlet of syllabus. Now, it sounds as vast as Bay of Bengal. Uh, suppose here is a list. You can see that how large the syllabus is. It tells the entire history of the nation. Old English period, Chaucer to Shakespeare, Jacobian to Restoration periods. Augustan age, uh, their romantic period, Victorian period, modern period, then the contemporary period, then added to that American and non-British literatures, it covers the entirety of the world, then comes literary theory, criticism, added to that rhetoric and prosody, and in all of these and reading all of these, uh, we often time get confused and we are stuck where to begin how to begin oh i will be uh, stumped with that no sense or with that uh, confused studies but don't get such nervous now as you are a literature student either for serious academic purposes or for job orientation first of all what you need to do is to do your studies well with a vision now I am talking about some guidance, how to make your vision correct. Yes, let's talk about some basic things first. There is entire scope of literature learning. You know, uh, the entire world is for yours. The literature tells you uh, to open your eyes. There is enormous diversity in literature as this partial list of charts demonstrates in the syllabus. Uh, it again covers the poetry, drama, novel in all of these sections, story, essays. There can be grouped further in the cases of fiction, suppose it is satirical, biographical, religious, romantic, the novel of manners, naturalistic, allegorical, political, utopian, historical, regional, national epic, ethics, family essays, experimental, and some kind of protest literature there. Popular fiction genres even include western, science fiction, detective, romance, horror. So, all these lists can be enlarged or can be added or rectified further. Now, out of all this, uh, why you are reading the literature, you, that notion needs to be come first. that we are reading the literature for instruction, for entertainment, to delight, to enlighten ourselves in various expressions of imagination as we are having the host of literary critics saying that we find them as the art of exploring and explaining the human experiences. Popular commercial literature may also aim to soft image, provide us with an escape from the reality into another world. That's why we are reading literature. Now, as a reader, when you are taking literature as a serious one, your understanding or approach to the literary piece should be different one. Added to that, you should be more investigating into that approach. Now, how you can comprehend the meaning of the literary text from readers to aesthetics, then meaning either through readers, understanding the society, writer's identity, then get the meaning. Don't get confused. What I am defining is that in the first instance, you have to reach the aesthetic level of the created work with such spiritual acclaim as that of a, as that of the author. So in that case, you have to be a kind of a yogi, but it is quite difficult. One. How you can be parallel to that author and get the meaning instantly? In the second category, however, it is one, it is easy one, a quite cheaper and easier approach to understanding. In it's a kind of ladder by which you know yourself. You comprehend yourself by questioning the author, by questioning the character. 
and there is a rapport there is a relationship between you the reader as well as the author and get the meaning get the comprehension of the entirety of the meaning now when you are reading the meaning or getting approach to meaning your point of view or understanding the point of view of the author is very essential when you are approaching near to the meaning uh, you you must have to know uh, the point of view of the author uh, in what perspective it is, it is written uh, the writer is using is it third person omniscient the third person in the third person the author like god like uh, stature filters everything through a single character's perspective uh, examples can be uh, thomas hardy's novels in the first person narrative the author lets a character tell the story uh, Tagore's uh, Hungry Stone popular short story is one of the examples. Now, uh, after getting the point of view, we have to approach the author's style. Note, author's use of literary devices. Ultimately, your relationship with the author is through words. Now, in which words it is told, how rhetoric has been devised, in what humor, in what innovativeness the author makes his words understandable to you or interested in you now after getting all these things you have to make a perfect enjoyment of literature and enjoying literature uh, you have to make yourself diversified you know when you are reading my bed okay let's watch the film listen others who have read or watched the film Start the history of the Macbeth, get an idea of the Shakespeare first, Elizabethan theatre first, so on. So, added points should be there. You can enjoy literary piece more if you have some knowledge of its different types, techniques and styles. So, understandably, you are trying your heart to get the meaning of the text and get a comprehensible ideology in you to understand literature. Literature is not an isolated field of studies. You have to know the historical, the social context in which the piece of the literature was created. Art, music, film, anthropology, philosophy, who is not there? Everything is interrelated now. Take a note of the author's biography for the totality of the comprehension and apply your understanding in comprehending the text. It should be the best approach of yours to get the meaning. Name, places, dates that are from the history part are to be computed, which uh, in fact personally I fear most, but you have to study. You have to study. Another key part of uh, literary student you, is to express yourself through writing by means of your writing capability. And I have few tips to how to improve your writing capabilities. Uh, writing for your leisure and writing for the exam are two different things. But I am stating how to improve your writing papers in examination. In fact, not much needs to be said that um, word uh, should be coming from your heart. Uh, your writing in English literature from writing in most other college courses uh, would be different a kind because different approach should be there. The cheap characteristics, whenever it is in your leisure writing or a writing for the academic purposes, the clarity is the main point. So what is clarity for you? Now clarity for you is that that clarity does not mean that you should pack with more and more uh, Angelo point words one after another and carry a meaning. No. Clarity does not mean wordiness simply. So tell what you know in short, lucid and logical sentences. In that, uh, in that approach, I say, uh, in that way, I would rather advise you to either follow Baconian style or Lamb style. One is some pragmatic guidance and another is a mixed guidance you should be on, should be packed with pragmatic ideology and also uh, the brevity is there and another romantic imagination is there. So effective argumentation in your writing is another key feature that you should forward your argument there in your writing. 
uh, your answer should be a mixed result what I say uh, what you feel and what you know what you feel should be lamb style and what you know should be your Baconian style so demonstrate understanding of literary text through personal and creative interpretation as well as analytical criticism it is very easy to say than perform but you should try a critical approach in yourselves recent relevant and reputable references um, can earn a bit for your writing marks so be up to the date of your topics and in which sentences in which tense you should prefer your writing uh, i should say that prefer present tense the past tense is used to describe what the author did so writing present tense to gain more scope of animated verbs so here is an approach of yours in which tense you should write whether in historical part you should write in past but in historical presentation of your thought you should write in present in your exam hall or in your time management i would rather say manage your time properly either in exam hall or in your study schedule take a part to take a break uh, otherwise or how it should be back don't take poetry for five days novel for 10 days that, that should not be the approach you should make a mixed approach of your literary course so that your study should not be boring i think you can boost your learning by these simple steps and your approach to learning or the strategy for learning in this literature should be a little bit of change after i share these tips and in your approach to literature if there is any hurdle just pop up here and ask me questions i will try my best to give answers like share comment and don't forget to subscribe bye bye